Most major airports in the world are equipped with a navigation system that allows aeroplanes to land in low visibility conditions. This system, known as the Instrument Landing System, or ILS, but it does have one shortcoming. If we wish to construct buildings close to runways, the facade of the buildings can act as large mirrors reflecting the ILS signal across the runway and falsifying the heading displayed in the cockpit. The aircraft can even exit the runway. In practice, to avoid this, planning permission is only granted for buildings close to runways if it can be clearly demonstrated that the building does not perturb the, the instrument landing system. If we would like to build close to a runway, we need to find a means of preventing buildings from reflecting radio waves. We need to create stealthy buildings. Two years ago, we proposed a solution that allowed a hangar to be built at only 380 meters from the runway of Toulouse International Airport. Airbus immediately realized that there was a great potential for using this technology to develop airports worldwide. The technology was very bulky and heavy, uh, consisting of crenellations made of metal 70 centimeters in depth. Since then, we have solved these problems, and today I'll be presenting a thin, lightweight solution that allows any type of building to be constructed close to runways. This aerodrome is equipped with an ILS localizer antenna operated by the French Civil Aviation Authority, the DGAC, making it the perfect location to perform tests. Behind me is a test facade which measures 30 meters in width and five meters in height. What we actually see is the plastic rain protection, which is red and white to make it very visible for the other users of the aerodrome. What is more interesting is what's inside behind the rain protection. In fact, there are several blocks, much like this one that I have beside me, that consist of folded aluminium panels with very precise dimensions so that they behave as an electronic resonator circuit. But rather than being powered by batteries, this resonator circuit is powered by the incoming uh, radio wave from the ILS system, which interacts with it, and rather than being reflected across the runway, is redirected to a zone well away from the runway so that it does not perturb incoming aircraft. So with this thin, lightweight solution, we can build any kind of building close to runways. We can even apply it to existing buildings if they present too much perturbations. Members of the DJC measured the perturbation from the facade on the runway center line using their specially equipped vehicle. We would like to demonstrate this facade in all weather conditions. And considering it's a dry, sunny day today, we've invited members of the Coor Fire Brigade to come along and direct jets of water towards the facade to simulate a very rainy day. The top 150 airports in the world could be interesting in this technology, and most of them are surrounded by cities and have no extra rooms to expand. Our solution offers them the possibility to construct buildings closer to the runway, and when we consider the price for one square meter in London city airports, for example, we can imagine that this solution could be very, very interesting for all airport stakeholders. <laughs>